What's up, everybody? Do we actually have a functional Diablo game at launch? It sure seems like it. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the Diablo 4 launch and how even though it is not perfect, the game is functional and running properly, which is extremely surprising when we're looking at Blizzard's track record. But before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications, that way you never miss another video. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. So, the Diablo 4 launch was not flawless, but it works surprisingly well. There is no queues to get in, on my end at least, and the game is functioning smoothly, I haven't crashed once, there isn't any lag, everything is working as intended. But everything isn't perfect for PlayStation players, because there was one major issue, although there is a very simple fix, and I'm talking about error code 315306. This was an error code that myself and many other PlayStation players were getting when we were trying to log into the game, and basically it's saying that the game cannot identify a valid license, even though I paid for the most expensive version of the game, to access the early access. So usually, when there are error codes like this, there is nothing that the player can do on their end to actually fix it. They have to wait for Blizzard to fix it. But this was not the case. A simple research on Reddit showed that if you purchase any item through the PlayStation Store, even if it's a free item, that would completely solve the problem. So I decided to buy a $2 microtransaction for Diablo 4, even though I could have chose something free, and it completely fixed the problem. Two seconds later, I was in with no queue time and the game running smoothly. So even though it's not a perfect launch, it's still a very good launch. Everything is working as intended. Everything is functional. And I think this is a great first step for Blizzard to actually regain the trust of their customers because people are gonna buy Diablo 4 anyways, but we couldn't have the same fiasco that happened with Diablo 2 Resurrected. Diablo 2 Resurrected's launch was absolute garbage. It was a nightmare. There was long queues, the servers were down, frequent drops, sometimes you would get a super good item and then a crash would occur and then you would have a rollback like you never got the item in the first place. It was a very, very frustrating experience. And a lot of people just rage quit the game because they thought it wasn't worth it. Luckily, after maybe two weeks, it got fixed, but still, it was a terrible launch. This is not what we're having today. The game is functional. Now, let's talk about the actual game. I just played a couple hours. I did play the beta, so this is just an early impression, but I like it. It looks like they took good elements from Diablo 2 and good elements from Diablo 3. So you have a nice dark setting from Diablo 2 and you have a fast action pace, although it's not too fast like Diablo 3. Now the classes are what you would expect. There's no reimagination here, just basic classes. And the gameplay, it's really good. I mean, the sound effects are crunchy. It doesn't look like you're just mowing through enemies. It takes a little bit more time to defeat them, which I can appreciate that. I decided to go with the Druid for my first playthrough. Even though people were saying he's underpowered, I find it pretty fun. The only thing I wish they would bring back is the rune words from Diablo 2, because that's what made Diablo 2 so unique, is to look for those runes and make these crazy rune words that would actually change the gameplay. But it doesn't look like it's in this game. Maybe they'll add it in the future. I'm way too early in to talk about the actual loot system, if it's rewarding the player enough. That's something I can touch base on at a later date. But so far, I'm entertained. I'm having fun. Now, it would be really hard to make the perfect Diablo game because in my opinion, Diablo 2 was the top. There was the amazing loot system. The classes were great and the bosses, the story, everything was good, but it was lacking the end game. Now Diablo 3 on the other hand had a superb end game with a lot of activities to do, but the loot system was lackluster. Now are they going to be able to achieve the perfect Diablo game with Diablo 4? I guess time will tell. Anyways, that's it for the video today. Let me know what you think about Diablo 4's launch in the comment section. 
please like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos and i'll see you guys on the next one